<laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Cole and Jay here. If you didn't know which one was which by now, then maybe you just haven't been watching any of our videos. <laughs> Today, Jay and I have a video that you guys have been requesting since the very beginning of our channel. Welcome to the Cole and Jay Q&A. Before we get going with the questions, we want to say thank you all for submitting all of your questions. We're going to be trying to so we're going to be trying to answer as many of them as possible in today's video. And if we don't get to your question, um, hopefully we'll be able to get to that in a future video. Oh, but one more thing, okay? So Jay and I, Jay and I have been working on a little project for a while now, okay? And y'all have been asking about this for a while. Y'all have been wanting some of this for a while. I don't know if you're getting what we're hinting at. But I'm gonna be a spoiler alert. It's we're not having a child. No, we're not pregnant. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Some of y'all really want that, but we're just we're just not ready. A lot of people really want that. But we want that, but just not. Not, not, not right now. Not right now. Anyways, Maybe. we'll get to that later. Yeah. So, anyways, the big announcement is we have merchandise. Merchandise, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We finally have our very own Cole and Jay Woo! official merchandise. So you see we have two different designs on right now. I don't know if you can see this right here. We'll, we'll, we'll model this for you guys. Yeah, here, here, let's just all show you like up close really quick. Yeah, let's get Polish. you an up close shot. So here we have our first t-shirt design. As you can see, it says Slab Slayer. Okay, so if you know that, if you know Jay and I at all from this channel, you know that we love crappie fishing. We love all fishing, but this time of year we get really, really excited about crappie fishing, catching those big old slab crappie, doing catch and cooks. Ooh, there's nothing better than a crappie fillet down in the hot grease. And if you are a Slab Slayer yourself, this shirt will make an epic addition to your closet. And we have them all sorts of colors and designs. It's got a cool crappie, fishing poles, Woo, rocking the Colin J Slab Slayer. But that's not all, okay? We got this design. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what Jay's got. Okay, we got our crappie fishing shirt. You all know that we love crappie fishing, but we also love bass fishing. So we have a special bass fishing shirt for all you bass fishing anglers out there. So if you're like Cole and every fish that you catch is a big one, Hey, they all are. <laughs> this is the shirt for you. <laughs> hey, we think fishing's fun and fishing wouldn't be as fun if every time you hooked up with a fish you thought it was a little one, okay? <laughs> so set the hook and if you feel a little bit of weight on there, it's a big one, okay? And if it really isn't, then oh well, it's more fun thinking that you had a big one in the first place. Right, Jay? That's right. All right. So we've shown you guys. We've shown you guys the slap slaying shirt. We've got our big and bass fishing shirt. We've got one more awesome design we gotta show you. Just hold on one second, okay? Our final t-shirt design is a wildlife theme because if you've been watching our channel, you will understand that we are equally as passionate about wildlife as we are fishing. So that is why we chose to make this shirt. It says, the wildlife is the life for me. And we know that a lot of you who are watching our channel primarily watch it for the wildlife aspect. So if you like to live the wildlife, then this is the shirt for you. Unfortunately though, they do not come in turtle sizes. So there you have it guys. Those are our three t-shirt designs we've come up for y'all. And as you can see on the table, we've got three different colors, actually four different colors showing on the table and a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, and a sweatshirt. But we also are going to be having hoodies and kid shirts along with the others that I just mentioned. And what makes this even better is that they come in not just the colors you see on the table, but there is a very wide assortment of colors you can choose from. So like the options are endless and like the material that these shirts are made out of are your choice too. You can get just the normal classic blend or you get more of a premium uh, style tee. It's just whatever you want. So that's what we really like about the website that we are using to create these t-shirts. In purchasing one of our shirt designs, not only are you going to be having a really, really awesome shirt to wear around, but you're also going to be greatly supporting Jay and I and our channel and the future of the channel, and it allows us to create better content, more content for you guys. We hope you guys like all of our designs we came up with, and uh, let's jump into answering some questions for y'all. We have reached the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. Welcome to our Q&A couch, where we, will, where we will be bringing to you live a Colin J. Q&A, we got the questions written down on a piece of paper found in the video archives and we are ready to answer them for you guys today. So, so here we go. let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna read you the first one. Why did y'all start a YouTube channel and whose idea was it? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think everyone, like every, all of our friends and family have always wanted us to start a YouTube channel. Yes, this goes back to even like, I'd say probably like five years ago, okay? <laughs> My mom got me my first GoPro camera, and she's like, take this GoPro camera, video yourself, and make YouTube videos. And I'm like, mom, I don't have a computer, I don't know how to edit. I'm like, 
I'm, I'm dumber than a box of rocks when it comes to doing computer stuff. And it's just, it's unfortunate really, if it's my own fault, I just have never, I've never been a tech whiz and haven't been able to make my YouTube videos because of that reason. But me on the other hand, that's like, I'm good at that. Yeah. So whenever <laughs> we got together, you know, we didn't really realize it at first because we were, we've been together for a while before we even started the channel. But um, what really triggered us making the YouTube channel is we were talking about it, really wanting to do it, and we made a video. Okay, we were just normal video, always videoing each other. Went outside, we were at the, we were, where were we? Saline River. Yeah, we were at the Saline River, the famous <laughs> Saline River, okay? Central Arkansas, Saline River, out there fishing, okay? And uh, we caught a big diamondback water snake. So Jay had it in her hands, I was videoing her, and she posted it to her Instagram story. She's like, look at this big old diamond bag, and I was like, let's see if it bites you. <laughs> that's basically the video, okay? Just messing around, not like antagonizing the snake at oh. all, just holding it like, let's see if it bites you. It was you, a big snake, and we were just like showing it off on Instagram. Yeah, but anyways, it got shared once, and then it got shared twice, and then it got shared 50,000 times, and then it got shared 10 million times. And then I think probably it's got 20 million views at this point. So we had a viral <laughs> video, okay? So we were like, Dang, that's really wild and crazy. Like, people are watching this, like, we got a little bit of exposure. If we're gonna make a YouTube channel, we gotta do it right, right now. now. So we made a YouTube channel. Right then. That day. <laughs> and that was the start of our video career. We didn't, you know, that video is on our YouTube channel. It's the first video you see. It doesn't have 20 million views on our channel, but it's, it, it was, it's not a very it's good not video. It's a very good video. We don't really care if you watch it or not, but that's the video <laughs> that got us started, okay? Honestly, that's how we started and why we started a YouTube channel. People wanted us to, and uh, we always, wanted to do that. We don't have a problem videoing our adventures and we thought you guys would like it and you'd like to join along. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining along. Let's go to question number two. You can read this one. What is each of your favorite animals? Wow, so that's a good question. Like, throughout time I think I maybe have struggled with this question because there's so many different animals that I like. And uh, I always go back to big African megafauna, okay? So I've always, I've always liked big animals, okay? And this is gonna sound really basic, and you might not really be expecting this from from me, but I think my favorite animal is a big bull African elephant. Like, there's nothing bigger and more majestic and just so exotic and amazing than a giant African elephant. It's a dream of mine to go to somewhere in Africa, South Africa, and see a giant uh, bull elephant in the wild. I think that that would be so spectacular. <laughs> so there's my favorite animal. I think that that has to be my favorite animal because I always come back to that one. My favorite animal is, do you know my favorite animal? Yes. Okay, what is it? A bald-nosed dolphin. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I have always been obsessed with dolphins. Like that's, whenever I was a little kid, that's all I wanted to talk about. I always wanted to go swim with dolphins and I never got that opportunity, but that's okay. I'm going to one day. I'm calling it. One day I will swim with dolphins. Yeah, she looked at me like that, like, cause I, I think I told her within, I think it was in 2017. I was like, 2017, we will go and uh, swim with dolphins somewhere. And we didn't make that We're trip. Coming on to 2019. Whoops. Still haven't swim with dolphins. Moving on. <laughs> That's okay. But dolphins are my favorite. And they always will be my favorite. Okay, question number three. This one's for you. It's for me? Yeah. Do you use beard oil? Ooh. You know, I have used beard oil before. My old roommate, uh, Blake, made some uh, beard oils. I have some essential oils and just some mixture, and I used that a couple times, and it was pretty good, but I actually don't. I would like to. I don't have any. I probably should get some. My beard's growing in quite nicely. I've, I usually grow my beard out during this winter season just because it gets kind of cold and it's kind of chilly and it's just a little bit of extra insulation. Like some of you guys that don't have beards or some of the ladies out there that are like, you need to shave it and you're like, you look gross with the beard, you know, like it's a real thing. If I was to shave this off right now, I'd be complaining for the next two weeks about how cold my face was. Mm -hmm. So I'm just growing it. Jay loves me and I ain't mad about it. I'm not really trying to impress anybody. <laughs> next question. How many pets do y'all have? That's a great question because we always have a lot of animals in our house, but they're not always like our for sure pets, but we do have real pets, okay? So, y'all know if you can hear them snorting and <laughs> chortling or got, whatever they're doing. We got two dogs. We got two puppies, okay? So we got Brittany and we got Buggy. They're lazy, chubby dogs. <laughs> they love each other. We love them. Yes. They make this house a lot happier. And uh, they're a lot of fun. They're really good girls. You can Brittany, get your nails Brittany follows me everywhere. She's like my shadow. Yes. Everywhere I go, Brittany's there. 
And just, just like, you know, it's all... It's kind of annoying, but it's kind of sweet. Too. Yeah, and just like how all short-haired dogs are, they shed like crazy, and Buggy's white hair sticks out everywhere, doesn't it, Buggy? So, she's not allowed on the couch. Nope, you don't get no that couch time. That makes really sad. So all she wants to do is snuggle and cuddle all day long. She would sleep in a little ball next to you all day long if she could. But here's, these are our dogs, and we have... I have leopard geckos. You've seen them on the channel before. I have three leopard geckos. Three snakes. Three snakes. We have... And three turtles. Three turtles, and we have a fish tank with some fish in it. But, I mean, I guess there are pets. There are pet fish. Yeah. We have a bass and some sunfish, and they're really cool. So those are our pets. Okay, <laughs> this next question is for Jay. Jay, how do you know if Cole actually has a large fish when he's always yelling big one every time he sets the hook? Oh, yeah. Okay, so first off, uh, not once do I ever believe him until I see it. He's like, every, it seems, just seems like every fish catch is like, Big in, big in, that's a big in. I'm like, whatever. But truth be told, it usually is a big in. And sometimes I get a little jealous. <laughs> but it is true. I yell big in like every time I set the hook because. He really does catch big fish. It's really fun. Does. And I don't always catch big fish, but it's fun. And then when I actually do catch a big one, I think that also helps her know that I have a big one. There's a sense of urgency mm -hmm. in my voice and in my eyes. I get those crazy eyes like, it's a freaking giant. It's a giant, giant. I don't, I don't stop. But usually I'll tell you if it's, if it's not a big one. But biggins, biggins, biggins. <laughs> Gotta have the biggins. <laughs> okay. The next question. It's a pretty good question. We get this question asked a lot on our channel. It says, "What camera gear are you using, and what editing software are you using?" So the camera that we are filming with right now is a Canon 80D. Okay, pretty good DSLR camera, and we're just using the stock. Uh, kit lenses that came with the whole uh, Canon bundle. It's just a 18 to 55 millimeter lens and we have a 75 to 300 millimeter lens and that's what we're doing all of our filming with right now. And we also have just a Rode um, external microphone on top to get this crisp and clean audio you're hearing right now. Yeah, but our microphone right now actually, let's see something kind of embarrassing. Our microphone is actually <laughs> broken, okay? Like, Really me. jacked up. I know that really probably sounded wonderful just then me, me tapping on the microphone, but it is broken and it's hanging on with duct tape. So <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing. It kind of sucks, but hey, we're still rocking it. And uh, we'll let Jay tell you what the editing software is that we're using because she, oh, she's in love with it. She knows all about it. My eyes might roll in the back of my head talking about this. <laughs> okay, so what, what we've been using is called Shotcut. And I don't really have anything good to say about it. <laughs> it's caused a lot of problems in my life, but it is free and it is it's pretty good for free. So I really I really can't be complaining. You know, I really would like to just buy like Adobe Premiere or Ooh. something like that. Oh, that'd be awesome. Maybe make some saucy videos, yeah. okay? Like some sick edits. Because we really just want to make really really good videos for y'all. Yeah. So and, like, like a lot of times when we make videos, like something just goes wrong. Like we'll end up losing all of our footage or like the, that editing software program kind of messes up and like I have to start all over. And then we'll have to scrap like entire vid days of videos and it's really sad that we've made some really, really cool videos that we were like really pumped about sharing with you guys and just through that editing software system it has just completely ruined or trashed them. So we just have to just scrap them and move on and that sucks. So we're hoping to get past that in the next year. <laughs> this next year we're hoping just to really up our level and just make way better videos and hopefully get a new <laughs> editing software system. But that is a good starter. I would definitely yeah. say it's probably a good starting soft software system. It was it was really easy to, to learn how to use too. Okay, next question. It's a pretty good question. It says, how long have y'all known each other slash been married? That's an awesome question because it's kind of, it's kind of, it's not strange. It's just a little bit different, a little bit more unconventional. Our answers can be a little bit more unconventional than maybe some others, but we met each other at, like at the very very beginning of the spring semester, which would be in January at Arkansas mm -hmm. State University in 2016. So January 2016, we met each other, became friends, and uh, then we started dating. Two weeks later. Two weeks later, <laughs> and then four five months down the road in June, we got engaged. Okay, so we moved, we progressed fast. Like people thought we were pregnant. Like we were, we were moving, <laughs> we were moving fast. Okay, and um, then. We got married in September of 2016. September 10th. September the 10th, 2016. So. I like to tell people that we met, we met, <laughs> dated, got engaged, got married, and had our first Thanksgiving and Christmas together 
all in the same year. Daggum. <laughs> what is something the other person does that just gets under your skin? Ooh, so pet peeves. Okay. <laughs> this actually does kind of get under my skin just a little bit. Like when we're going into town and we're driving and we're like getting, we're about to get out of the car. Like I park, I'll get out the car. I have the key and ready to lock the car. And I'm like, Jay, get out of the car so I can lock it. Like it takes her, sometimes it takes her way too long to get out of the car so I can lock it. Like I'm out, I've been out for 15, 20 seconds. I'm like, what are you doing? She's just hanging out in the just car. Piddling around. Just piddling around in the car. I'm like, get out. <laughs> that actually does kind of, this isn't like, I really don't ever get mad about it. I'm like, come on girl, hurry up. Okay, let's see what Jay has to say about me. Oh yeah, I'm still on this question. Okay, pet peeves. My biggest pet peeve is when Cole bites his nails. That just drives me up the wall. I love it. I do my best thinking when I'm biting my nails, or I do my best relaxing, but that's a dirty habit and I should quit. I'm sorry it's guys. Gross. Sorry mom. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we got a couple of more questions. We got a couple of fishing questions we're going to answer real quick. The first one is crappie. How do we find the crappie and how do we catch them? Like what is their favorite bait? Like how do we catch those crappie? Well. We're not year-round crappie anglers, okay? We're, we're, I like to say, I like to consider myself primarily a bass angler, but I know that I'm, I'm more of a multi-species angler at heart because I'm always fishing for just whatever's <laughs> biting. Like I said, we don't crappie fish year-round, but during the fall and winter time, which we are in right now, we usually tend to crappie fish a little bit more than normal. Um, that is because they're a little bit easier for us to catch, they're easier for us to access. This time of year, the crappies start moving up into the backs of creeks and they start trying to access deeper water. So that kind of like, helps you pinpoint where the crappie are going to be hanging out. If you can just find some of the deepest water or if you can go back up to a creek. Um, use your electronics if you have them and you can just find these crappie schools. Uh, we, don't usually, we don't usually use electronics because we don't have them. <laughs> but we've just been fishing some of these areas for a long time and have been out there with electronics before and just kind of know the lay of the land and where to catch them. Um, but usually if we're fishing in shallow water, we like to fish you know, with a bobber and a jig underneath it like we're going into a creek. And we'll just cast it out there and just work the jig back pretty slowly and we'll catch those crappie that way. Mm -hmm. And then whenever we're fishing like in a river, like below a dam or fishing some deeper water, we like to tight line. And uh, you've seen on our channel, we usually like to throw a double jig rig. So we're using two jigs so we can have kind of like a, kind of like a schooling bait fish effect and be able to target fish in different levels of the water column. It's not very much of a difference, but you can get one bait like 10 inches higher than the other. And um, it works pretty good. Uh, as for jigs, I got this little thing here. Let me get it real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, this here will work. So, uh, these are the jigs we're using. This isn't the actual jig, but this is the company. This is uh, Mid-South Tackle. They're out in Jonesboro, Arkansas, which is where we went to college at. And they make really, really good jigs. Um, we're not affiliated with them at all, but they make really great jigs and they're pretty big and they have a lot of colors. They're called the Super, I think they're called Super Jig. Yeah, Super yeah. Jigs. Home, home of the Super Jigs. They're called Super <laughs> Jigs. And, um, we keep it really basic with our color selection. We usually use some variation of chartreuse or a variation of pearl or white. So a bait fish color or a bright color if we have dirty water. And then we'll use like black and chartreuse also if it's really dirty or black and pink if it's really dirty. But primarily just a chartreuse color or a bait fish color and you're good to go. And orange jig heads. Orange <laughs> jig heads on everything, just about. The last fishing question is, what is your favorite way to catch bass? Go ahead and tell him, Jay. Go ahead and tell him your favorite way. My favorite way? I have two favorite ways. Okay. Cole, do you know my favorite way to catch bass? On a frog? Top water. Anything top water. Okay. Anything I love top. watching bass just come up. I get so excited. I start screaming. It's just, mm -hmm. it's so much fun. But so top water and swim baits are my favorite. Yeah, that's, that's a really solid answer. <laughs> I'm going to say, um, you know, I love catching them on top water too. Top water frogs and big top water baits like a pencil popper sort of deal. But my favorite way is going to have to be a big swim bait or just any swim bait really in general. I like that big thump. I think it's kind of why mm -hmm. I like crappie fish yeah. so much because you get that thump. But with the bass, it's just that big old thump. Um, I like throwing big open water swim baits. I got another thing I'll show you. <laughs> I got all sorts of stuff in here. <laughs> this is a tube. This is mine. This is like my new favorite swim bait right here. This is my favorite thing to throw. This is the Babe swim bait. It's a six inch swim bait. It's like a carbon copy of the old BPS, uh, XPS swimmer. And it's awesome. It's a great bait. Um, you've seen me talk about it on the channel. I love that bait. 
The and bait then, catches big fish. The bait catches big fish. It's awesome. And that, uh, that makes swim bait fishing a whole lot more fun. Okay guys, we're fixing to wrap up our Q&A, but we have two more questions. And these two questions are the most highly requested questions. I'm not sure which one is more requested. It could be equal, but... I think it's equal. We, we get, get these, asked questions these questions a lot. All the time, okay? And these, these are a little bit... They're not serious questions, but they're a little bit more like life questions. Okay, the first one is... What do Cole and Jay do for a living? Cricket, 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 cricket. <laughs> so, how do we even answer that? It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. So, Jay and I do YouTube for a living, right? <laughs> Yeah. We do YouTube for a living. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing right now for a living. We I are... just graduated college. And... Yeah. She's, she, yeah, she just graduated college. I'm fixing to graduate. and um, We're trying to give YouTube a hundred percent right now because this is legit what we want to do for a living. Yes, this is our dream. It's always been our dream to do something like this, to be content creators. And we've just been, you know, we've been so fortunate, so blessed to, you know, gain the following that we have already on our channel. And um, and to be honest with you guys, like at this point, we, we're making enough of an income right now on our channel to support ourselves. Not not a whole lot more, to be honest, but it's enough to pay our bills. And um, if we're able to pay our bills and able to go out and do what we love to do and make content for you guys, then that's what we want to do. And hopefully, just as this channel, you know, improves and progresses, we'll be able to maybe make a little bit more of a living doing this. And that is why we're trying to expand our channel, like expand our Colin J brand into making these these t-shirts, you know? So like, you know, with the purchase of these t-shirts, it helps fund the channel, helps support us a little bit. So we and, can buy um, better camera gear, yeah, editing buy. software, um, we could go different places to go fishing or anything. Anything, yeah, so it'd be a tremendous help. We can just help. make better videos for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're not just like stuck in our own, like our personal, you know, <laughs> one hour radius circle where we're making all of our videos, we can go out and make cooler things. Yeah. We don't have to worry about finances so much. Um, yeah, so, but if that all doesn't work out, we both have degrees and we both have backup plans to pursue our other degrees, but we're gonna give this a heck of a shot first. Yes. And our final question on the Colin J Q&A is, Colin J, when are you two expanding the family by having a baby? Can I answer this question? You can answer the question. <laughs> we cannot have a baby until we have a bass boat. Like, I am very firm on that. Yeah, we've said this to every one of you guys that have asked, asked this question. We've answered it the same way. We have not veered away from our values and our beliefs. We will not have a baby until we have a bass boat. Or until we have like 150,000 subs. <laughs> And we have like 50,000 of you watching every video because then maybe we can we can financially support a baby But yeah. as we just said, we don't we don't right have now, a lot of extra money. We don't we can't afford to have a baby We can afford to have Buggy and Brittany, but we can't have it. a baby. Yeah, and I mean that's kind of sad But and you know, we, we're not ready. We really look forward to the day when we have children, but it's not it's right now not right now you know? Anyways, yeah, so we're not having a baby yet. It Maybe sometime soon in the future, but just just not yet. And we will let you guys know whenever we are, whenever we figure out how to do that. Okay. Or if you just want to send us a bass boat, then maybe we can start moving things along. They ain't asking too much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, but that's gonna wrap up today's episode of Colin Jay. We hope you guys enjoyed listening in on our little Q and A session. We hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, learning about the new merchandise we have going up on the site or going up on the channel. That's really exciting We've really been yes. working on this for a while and you know, it was kind of a struggle to get the designs in order and Daggum we got them and we hope that you guys like them if you oh. Carol Carol y'all know granny granny's Carol. She's ruining let's everything. Granny. Okay. Let's say hi to granny. Hello. Are you fishing? <laughs> no, we're not fishing. We're not fishing granny. Huh? We're not fishing. I wish I was fishing. We're just sitting inside wishing we were fishing. Oh. Are you good. fishing? Are you fishing? Where you at? We're in the house. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to tell you, I'm cooking smothered pork chops after a while. If y'all want to partake about 6 o'clock. Dead gum. Smothered pork chops. Are we going to watch Survivor too? Yeah. Heck yeah. I can watch the finale of Survivor tonight oh. and eat some <laughs> smothered pork stop. chops. Okay. Well, we'll see. Okay. We'll see you then. We'll be there. Alright, bye. 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 I don't have to cook dinner tonight. Heck yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> we were thawing out some chicken breasts to cook, to dinner, cook for dinner, but Granny's making some other pork chops, so we're gonna go for that. Oh, Granny makes the best pork chops. Yes. Well, that is going to wrap up today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed all the answers that we gave you and that you got to get to know us a little better. And if you have any more questions, feel free to let us know or ask your questions down in the comments section. And if there's any sort of t-shirt design that you would like to see made in the future because you know, we are we are excited about making more mm -hmm. designs or yeah. cool things as as the seasons change, but this is just our first launch and we have big plans for the future. So let us know what kind of shirts or designs you would like to see in the comment section also. We're, We're Cole and Jay and we'll catch you on the next video. This is my babe and this is my other babe. She's my main babe and this is my other main babe. As long as I'm your main babe. <laughs> well, this is my main babe too. Next question. Hmm, it says, what do you want for Christmas? I want a new GoPro, <laughs> I want a bass boat, I want some new fishing poles, I want some new reels. I'm I just like, kidding, that wasn't a real question. I like DC Corrado. But while we're on that subject, I would like um, a Chick-fil-A gift card. A Chick-fil-A gift card? I want a Chick-fil-A gift card and a bass boat. That's all I want, that's all I want. I actually have a secret pet peeve about Cole. He always eats the last of everything, so like the other night, Whenever I was sleeping, he ate the last brownie. <sighs> That's not cool!